the sim hub belt tensioner is great device, but I wanted of course mine to be prettier and smaller. This is what I did. In the beginning there was a 4080 profile with a lot of dangling wires. I already braided them but wanted to keep them covered and well arranged, so these covers were printed. This is another of my smaller faster projects which are composed of more small and fast to print pieces. I also made a new box for the Arduino controller and the custom PCB extension. It nicely fits between the two motors keeping all the cables short. Now I only have to connect them back to the Arduino and squeeze them inside the boxes so I hide them even more. Nicely tucked away I am ready for the final step. I also have prepared a small cover to put on the Arduino edge. It will arrange the cables nicely. Nothing special, a fast project, but now it's done. Of course I could have made a whole box cover everything, but I prefer the industrial rugged design. The whole idea here was mainly to hide the cables, make them more compact and safer to use. If you wonder, the total weight of the belt tensioner is 6.2 kg. And here it is back on the rig with all its compactness. The belts needed some shortening for quite some time now and I figured now is the opportune moment to do so. They had a metal part which are supposed to attach them to the frame which was dangling and making noises all the time and it was really bothering me. The only option was to open the belts, cut them and sew them back together. Not my best craftsmanship and somewhat time consuming, but I did the job. As I was too lazy to switch to thicker thread, I had to pass every stitch twice. This technique makes the stitching look thicker and bigger, so in this case it looks much nicer. Final cleanup of the wool threads and we are done. At this stage I am at the point that I can finally put the belt tensioner back together. First let's insert the belts in the lower rollers. Now let's put them on the lower belt tensioner arms and screw them back in place. Once this is done, the only thing left to complete the project is to squeeze the belts through the seat holes and the upper rollers and start using it. It is so smooth. Here is the belt tensioner back in action. Despite it using gearboxes and their being naturally noisy, I managed to silence it a bit. The lower frame support is mounted on the rig using four big rubber dampers. They are 50mm in diameter and 20mm thick. This of course had some play in the belt tensioner, but I fixed it by putting it at longer travel. I prefer it to be quieter and now its vibrations do not travel through the frame. 